Hello everyone, this is Jill. Please come along and shop with me at my OC Goodwill. I'm not a reseller, so I don't buy everything, but I do show and share with you all the amazing vintage and useful items I find. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe for more videos. Here we start off at the end cap. And first thing I spot is this black honey pot for $6. And below are Halloween decorations. We start off at the kitchen hard goods. And this is a tiny pressed glass sugar bowl for $2. Next to it are creamers. And behind is a salt and pepper shaker. It looks like it's from the 80s. 80 style next to it is a butter dish for six dollar and this one is from world market Lots of teapots. This one is Chang's White Jade Porcelain Teapot for $4. A teapot with a cup as lid. And this cute little teapot is $5. It might be a hobbyist. It says Peggy71 on the bottom. Very lovely. And above our canister set, this is vintage, made in Taiwan, and from the 80s. The small one is $4. The coffee one is 5 and the sugar, 6 And in the back, the flower canister is $7. And they're in good condition. A jam jar, canning jar with a lid. This is a heavy pressed glass cake stand and cover for $25. Very nice. And this is a Flintstones cookie jar from 1994, made in Taiwan for $15. Here we are at the basket section. This is a cute little deer planter basket for $3. And it was in good condition. Next to it are vases. This one caught my eye. It's a large floor blue rib vase with ruffle rim. And it was only eight dollars. 
Very nice. I love the blue colors on this. And above is a small Indiana green vase for only $3. Lots of florals. This little cute little planter floral was two dollars. And a little pansy one for a dollar. In the mug section, I spot this Owl Gibson mug for only two dollars. And it was in good condition. Looked brand new. And next to it is a Starbucks mug, Cancun. This one is also brand new. And it had its original label. And it's only a dollar. This D mug is from Food Network and this one is also two dollars. And in the back is a Sango soup cup bowl for two dollars in the glasses section first thing i spot is this libby vintage gold leaf frosted glasses very good quality and each are two dollars great for decor Thanksgiving dinner And above are These Pier 1 Made in England Water glasses for a dollar each Christmas tree and Snowflakes Very nice On top were these Waterford Marquee Crystal Polka Dot Wine Glasses and they were only $2 each. You can see the etching on the bottom. It says Waterford Marquee. Very nice. And there, there were three colors. Green, blue, and pink. You can see the etching mark. Here we are at the plate section. And these are Corel um, bread dessert plates for a do $2 each. And under are more Corel 
this one is the iris pattern. This one's really nice. And the larger, I think these are 8 inch plates. Below are platters. This one was really large. It is from Ross, but this one is good quality. It's made in Italy. This one was really nice too. It looked vintage. Vintage stoneware. We are at the knick-knack section and the first thing I spot are these vintage blue ribbon geese made in Taiwan salt and pepper shakers three dollars each they are pretty large Above is a Norman Rockwell figurine at $10. It says as is, so I'm thinking there's something wrong with it, a little damage. Paper mache bunnies, each for nine dollars. They are made in the Philippines. Very large. This is a large art glass swan bowl for only $13. The colors are very, um, I think from the 70s. Very cool. This is a thimble collection for $4. It looked like it, it has all the states. This is a Dritz sewing box for $6. St. Jane Collection It looks brand new with tag Inside is very clean Never been used Made in the Philippines On top are vintage Christmas napkin rings by Nico, Japan. Brand new in the box for $3. I'm trying to get it open to show you. They are brand new. And there are two boxes. Perfect for Christmas. These are Enesco Angel with music box Each for four dollars A bottle for two dollars with a pretty bird stopper 
This is a cute little giraffe head hook and hanger for six dollars. He's so adorable. In the frames and art section, I found this oil painting with the huge frame for ten dollars. The floral painting was so pretty, I put it in my basket. The frame is a bit much, but the oil painting itself is really pretty. This smaller um, frame is $8. Looking at the canvas, it doesn't look that old, but whoever painted it did a really great job. I think they are really pretty. This is a vintage pool frame for only $4. A Bahama frame for three dollars and this looks like a mother goose frame for three dollars this is a vintage porcelain doll kit made in Japan Beth for six dollars it's by Shackman pretty neat and this is a vintage Manchester weather station, brand new in the box for $10. It looks like it's from the 80s. On the end cap are these Noritake Priscilla China set made in Japan. The teacup set is two dollars each, and the bowls they're three dollars each. The little bread pl plate is $4 and the larger dinner plates are $5. On the other end cap, I see these Made in Japan Nico Christmas set, butter dish and creamer set, creamer sugar bowl set. This was $3. They look like spode. Next to it is a candle holder, um, behind it is a candle holder spot set. Below these are Vintage Garden Harvest Arn Art Japan Canister butter dish and shaker set they look like they are brand new I like the little vegetables on top lots of shakers they're only three dollars each This is just a plastic spoon rest. 
This is a handmade granny square afghan for only nine dollars. Someone did a really good job. It looks like it is made out of wool. It's very heavy. And it feels like wool. This would be really warm for um, this winter. Nicely done. Next to it is a baby afghan. $13. Handmade as well. Someone did a great job on this as well. As I was um, going out, this is a fake planter for $30. Only $30. And the smaller planter, fake planter, is $6. This is my purchase for today. I purchased the two floral oil paintings. The smaller one is $8, and the larger frame is $10. I think they are real oil paint with the signature, but I don't think they are really old. It looks pretty new but someone did a really awesome job on them i don't care for the frames so much i might end up changing the frames they're too big and massive but still lovely i also got the dritz sewing box brand new for only six dollars i was really happy with this because i do a lot of crafting and sewing and i could put all my little sewing um, knickknacks in inside so anyways, I hope you had fun shopping with me. Please subscribe and like for more videos. Thank you. This is Jill. Bye.